we're going to present the use of units in um, several applications in SMAS Studio. And I have this worksheet where we're going to get our information. We have a unit menu <coughs> that is available right here. It's the it's like a um, this measuring device where you get a listing of functions uh, of a unit. Sorry, according to the corresponding dimension, there are a few dimensionless and so on. Let me. Um, show you here in general, for example, if you're looking for defining a length, 0.3 meters, in the left-hand side you type the variable lambda uh, colon and then the value 0.3, and then you can go, I'm going to repeat it here, say L, control G, colon, 0 0.3, 0 0.3, sorry. You want to in include meters in there and then go to your uh, funnel shape, um, I can and look for length and then find meters here and say insert and then you get that result. Alternatively you can just type I'm gonna do it here L control G lambda column zero point three quote M and click somewhere and give you the point three meter. That's exactly what is indicated in here. That's how you will enter units using either the collection of, of functions of units already available here, or if you know the, the, the name of the unit, you just type it preceded by an apostrophe. <clears throat> this is just to give you an idea, uh, kind of recapping the different measuring systems that are available. Most of the current physical calculations are done in the international system of Système International, SI, which in the old days used to be called the MKS, the M for meter, K for kilogram, and S for second. They used to be, or they're still there, but uh, it's not longer considered a, a principal system of units, the CGS, where the length are given in centimeters the mass in grams and the time in seconds. And then we have the English system that's still very much in use in the U.S. where um, the units of length could be feet, the unit of time is second, and the unit of mass is a derived unit called the slug. And so they have some um, the, some units that are defined depending on length, mass, and, and time, like length over time is velocity, and you have these units in the two different system. Acceleration is velocity per unit time, unit of length per time square. The unit of force is mass times acceleration. The newton is a kilogram multiplied by a meter per second square of acceleration. A dyne is a gram multiplied by a centimeter per second square. And the pound force, the pound actually, is the mass log multiplied by a feet square over second. As indicated here, the pound is standard unit force in the English system. It should be referred as LB. However, SMAS Studio is continuing to use an older symbol, LBF, for pound force. Uh, so be careful that we're going to be using LBF for pounds. And, and LBF is 4.44 newtons, 1 newton is 0.22 uh, pound force, 1 newton is 10 to the fifth dynes. Unit of momentum, mass times velocity, units of work, force times distance, newton times meter. The urge would be equal to one dime multiplied by one centimeter. And let me put this to units. And in, in the English system will be pound foot, uh, which is uh, work. Um, power, we have the watt, a joule per second, um, hertz per second in the CGS system, and then pounds and foot per second in the English system. 
there are other units that are used, for example, in terms of uh, energy and work and energy are equivalent. And so in the English system, we have the British thermal unit as a unit of um, energy, and that is equal to 778 pound force times foot, or 1055.05 joules. Uh, of power in the English system, we have the horsepower, which is 550 pounds foot per second or 745.7 watts. There are, these are some examples of calculation. You can pause here and repeat them in your, in your own worksheet and cases using the MKS, CGS, and English system. The only thing you have to be uh, aware of is that ISMAS Studio will tend to give you results in the SI or MKS system. And so if, if I were to calculate down here, let's say this value, just going to copy and paste, and I say equal, it gives me meters per second. And so if I wanted to make it into the CGS system, I had to put quote CM divided by quote S. And so that's one centimeter per second. And so you had to make those conversions. This is going to give you, by default, units of the SI. It is more complicated, of course, if you are using the English system. For, for example, if I repeat this calculation down here and make the equal sign, it gives me watts. And so I have to change this to pound foot, pounds for, sorry, times quote FT divided by quote to make it into the appropriate system of units. So I just be careful with that. Uh, here's an example that I just did and some other examples of acceleration, force, in newtons converted to dynes, momentum into the CGS, and then problems of the English system where you first get the results in the SI and then you have to convert them by replacing the units in the placeholder, this placeholder by what is indicated here in the bracket. So you can you can um, pause this video and try these exercises. It says if you want to use VTU for work and horsepower for power, here are some conversions. If you first calculate work in joules, just change to VTU. If you can calculate power in watts, change to horsepower HP. Other units used in the SI, we have kilometers, 1,000 meters, 1 millimeter, 1,000 of a meter, 1 micrometer, 10 to the minus 6 meter, and an Armstrong, 10 to the minus 10, 1 more, 10 to the minus 11 meter. This is related to the size of atoms. And the picometer is probably one of the smallest distances you're going to work with, 10 to the minus 12 meters. In terms of large units, you have the astronomical unit, which is the mean distance from the sun to the earth given by this quantity. The light year is the time that light travels in a year. It's also a huge quantity used for measurement in, in the cosmos. And the parsec is the parallel of one arc second. So those are some of the units of length used in the international system. In all the system, we use these units of time. The year has 12 months or 365.24 days uh, or 52.1775 weeks, one month in terms of days, one month in terms of weeks. One hour in minute, one hour in second, uh, one minute in second, one minute in milliseconds, one minute in microseconds, one second in milliseconds, and so on. For area, the hectare. Uh, for volume, the liter, uh, the milliliter. For velocity, kilometer per second, kilometer per hour. For work, the kilojoule, the calorie, and the kilocalorie. Uh, for power, the kilowatt. In the English system, we have for length, the foot, the inch, and these are the conversions in there, the yard, the furlong, the mile, the nautical mile, for area, the acre, for volume, gallons. In the water supply calculations, in hydrology and so on, in the U.S., there's a unit called the acre foot that is commonly used. And so those are some of the basic units that are used. In the next video, I'm going to talk examples of mechanical problems using units. You can always go back to these videos and pause it if you are, if you are interested in learning more about these units.
for the time being, we're going to stop here, and in the next um, video, we're going to talk about examples of mechanics problems using units.